Right, hi girls, today we are going to be discussing toning up and what it is all about, you know, what what have you got to do, what's essential, what does it mean to tone up as well, because a lot of the time we say we want to tone up, but we don't actually know what is involved or what it truly means. So we're going to cover that today in today's video. So we'll get into it. So what is toning up? Now often we hear we're... Uh, Often we hear statements like, I want to get toned, I don't want to lose weight, I just want to tone up, but then I don't want to go too big and this and that. So it's like, we hear these statements all the time, but but what does it actually mean? Well, toning up is just a simple case of losing fat and building muscle. That's it. Just losing fat and building muscle. So basically, all it is, is trying to make the muscles more visible. And that's it. Now, you know, don't get worried about uh, every time, you know, women hear the word muscles, they get scared and they get worried that they're going to go massive. But that's just not the case because women just don't have the same hormonal ho hormonal profiles that men do. So women just can't build extreme amounts of muscle. So it's nothing to worry about. You know, ask yourself, what do you mean by toning up? So ask yourself, you know, what is it? What 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 do you want to achieve? Well, I want to tone up. What does that mean? Oh, well, I want a little bit more shape in the arms. Right, okay. Well, in order to do that, we've got to lose a bit of fat around the arms and then build a little bit of muscle to shape the arms. It's just that simple. Often people just don't associate losing fat and building muscle with toning up. They assume that toning up is a complete separate thing to these two things here. So, you know, it's all interconnected. When this happens, this happens. You lose fat, you build muscle, and you end up more toned. It's that simple. Um, usually women who are toned generally just have a lower body fat percentage, so they might have just lost more body fat. Um, or naturally just, you, you know, everyone has like that, that mate who's just toned and they don't even do anything. A lot of the time it's just because they have a low body fat percentage, so therefore the muscles are a little bit more visible, and then they look more toned. Okay, so to get that toned look, you need to lose body fat and train with weights in order to build muscle. So this means not only your training needs to be on point, but also your nutrition as well. So you can do all the training in the world, but without proper nutrition, you'll never, ever get that toned look. So the way it works is the nutrition is going to dictate the fat loss in terms of you know, you're controlling your calories, you're restricting your calories to allow your body to burn fat and to, to, to tap into your own fat stores. So that's important. So you need to focus on your nutrition to make sure that fat loss is happening. And then also your protein intake. So the amount of protein that you have within those calories allows for an increase in lean muscle and then the recovery from training. So if you're not eating enough protein, you, you will actually lose muscle. From, from from training so you can train do loads and loads of strength training but if you're not eating enough protein you'll lose muscle and then therefore you won't actually end up being toned so training with weights kick starts the fat loss and the lean muscle building process and that's 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 the key word is kick starts it doesn't it doesn't mean that as soon as you train that's it all the great stuff occurs it's training is just a start of the process. So training actually breaks down your muscle. Uh, so yeah, so your training actually breaks down the muscle, and it's up to you to go home and consume protein and enough calories to allow your body to repair the muscle that um, that, that you've broke down in the training session. And then also when you do train, you mainly burn in carbohydrates and not body fat it's not till after the workout that that's when your body starts tapping into its fat stores so it's important that you do hit training very hard but it is just the start of the process it's important because it kicks off the process but then that's where your nutrition becomes very important then is after the training session so both training and nutrition are as important as one another when it comes to getting toned. As I just said, you know, they're both important. It's just that the training kickstarts the process. Then the nutrition is really what finalizes the results. So you can lose fat without training, but you won't get toned. 
a lot of people who will lose body fat just by dieting they'll never get toned they'll just end up a little bit smaller or a smaller version of themselves they'll never have the figure that they want or the body that they want so training is essential for this okay so what do we need to do so as we discussed getting toned is all about losing body fat and gaining lean muscle but how much body fat well, a healthy body fat percentage is roughly between 22 and 28%, depending on your age. That's healthy. So that's the key word here is a healthy body fat percentage, not toned. So the lower end of this range will result in a toned body look. So if you're, if you're around 22%, that should, you should start getting a little bit of definition in your shoulders, a little bit in, your, in the top part of your stomach, maybe a little bit in your legs as well. Um, but generally, it needs to be on the lower end of this range here. Anything lower than 22% is where you really start to see your shape coming through. The limit of female leanness is around 11%, but this cannot be achieved without being enhanced, basically meaning steroids. So, you know, it's not easy to get to 11%. If someone came to me and said, look, John, you know, whatever, I'm 30% body fat now. I want to get down to 11% body fat. It would probably take six months maybe even a little bit longer of hard hard work training five six maybe even seven times a week some weeks twice a day also as well it's ridiculously difficult you can't get there by accident it's even hard just getting down to this this range of 22 because you know women aren't meant to be like really crazy crazy lean to the point where they've got zero body fat because you know women need body fat it's essential for your hormones you know it's essential for the, the birth the birth process so you know your body will fight against it but you know a healthy range is this anyway even if you're in the in the 16 17 18 percent body fat range that's still healthy it's when you get down to this the 11 percent that you kind of knocking on death's door like literally because that is the limit of human leanness when it comes to women men is around five or six percent okay so here's some examples uh, women's bodies can come in all different shapes and sizes of course uh, some women naturally have bigger hips some women naturally have bigger shoulders some women might naturally have a slimmer frame some might naturally have a curvy frame it just it just completely depends uh, but the, the thing is is usually you don't really truly know what your shape's like until you lose most of your body fat um you know you might store a lot of your body fat on your hips but then when you lose all that body fat your hips are actually in perfect proportion to to your waist you just don't know so it's one of these things that you know there's no such thing as the ideal body so with these pictures that we'll go through are not to show the ideal body or to be unrealistic but it's more so just to show you what levels of tones there are based on body fat percentage so i'll show you a few pictures that gives you an idea of you know what level you'd need to be at to achieve whatever and you know we will show the lower end here as well so so you get a little bit of an idea and these are just pictures that have pulled from the internet so let's get into it okay so you can see here this girl you know she's generally got a slim frame low body fat percentage so she's got quite quite petite you know she hasn't got wide hips you know she's quite narrow um, but she's around this this girl's around 16 to 18 percent body fat so this is quite lean this this does take hard work you know she's got good developed abs you know hasn't got much lower body fat uh, lower abdominal fat here and um, so you know she's on on a little bit more of a lean level you know that that's this is this is hard work this is a little bit more long term uh, but you know generally slim girl so that's about 16 to 18 percent body fat okay we've got this girl here her name is Hope Elizabeth Howard or Hope Eli Isabel Howard. She's a little bit more curvy, but she's still got low, lower body fat percentages. Probably this isn't the best picture really, but um, if you were to go on Instagram, you'll see that she, she is quite lean. So, But you can see she's naturally got a curvier frame and she's around the same level of lean. She's around 16 to 18% body fat. But you can see here that she's got a little bit wider hips, a little bit more. She holds a little bit more of her weight on her legs and um, so yeah a little bit more curvy but a same similar level of leanness to the previous girl 
in her stomach. So this is kind of the, you know, really toned look, 16 to 18% body fat. Okay. Uh, so this is like a little bit in between. So it's like a curvy slim frame. So you can tell this girl's like she's she's got she's got hips, but then she's also got a slim waist as well. Um and it looks like you know she's got you know narrow shoulders. Um so she's like a curvy slim frame just in between, and she's around 19 to 21% body fat. It's hard to say, but about 19 to 21% body fat. You can see this definition in the side of her abs here and, and there, and you know. She looks relatively lean, so that's that's also like a, quite a lean level. Um, okay, we'll move on. Okay, this girl, she's a little bit more, once again, a little bit more curvy. You can see she's got curvy hips. She's still got quite a low body fat percentage. Uh, so we can see here a little bit more curvy, you know, but she's got toned arms here and she's got good definition in her stomach. Uh, and that's around 20 to 23% body fat. So as you say, as you can see, it's just getting a little bit higher up the scale. These these girls, I think this girl actually competes in like bikini competitions, hence um, hence like why they, these girls are at this level of leanness. So you know this they do this for a living. Um, so you know that's that's one thing you don't use these pictures as the ideal. It's just to show you um, what that level of leanness looks like. And then you can then get an idea of, right, okay, what do I want to look like? Where do I need to be in terms of body fat? And then when, when if we tell you, right, okay, you need to lose this much more weight to get to 23% body fat, then, then at least you've got a little bit of an idea of, of where you're going. Uh, okay, here's like a little bit of a comparison. I, I'm not sure if this was the same girl, but... You can see here, like this is 11 to 12 percent. This is the limit, you know. As as you see, this is quite quite lean, you know. You can see here, she's got veins, you know, the vein going through her arm, uh, you know, even probably a few little veins here. This is really really lean. This takes ridiculous amounts of work, you know. Hats off to the girl. Um, it's quite difficult. Uh, these are quite similar actually, these two, but. Uh, yeah, most most girls don't want to achieve this, but you know, a lot of athletes, a lot of female athletes in, in the Olympics compete around around this level. So you know, it is quite a lean lean level, but it's not really a, a sustainable. So you know, we don't we don't we never really get anyone to this level unless someone's looking to compete in like a bodybuilding or a, or a figure competition. You know, we're looking on a more realistic end. And then here we have this this girl next to it. It's it's probably a similar level, but yeah it's just the light and it's a little bit different but yeah she's around 14 15 percent you see it once again that that's you know that's incredibly and i'd probably say this is about 13 percent body fat because of the vein and um, you know the veins basically just just like in your hands they just show when you, you lose but when when you get the, the leaner you get the, the more your veins will show just in your hands and that but you know <laughs> the amount of leanness that you need for, for veins down here is crazy so you, it's nothing that you'd ever worry about and then here now you can see 17 to 18 percent like a few of the other pictures you know she's she's got tone and definition in the stomach but she hasn't got like the, those those veins popping through and that and this is a little bit more of an achievable level but this is still a long-term level you know this is a lifetime of dedication to get to this but this is just like a long-term lifting weights eating good sustainable level now i want i wanted to show you uh, so <laughs> it's kind of funny you know some of uh, some women have expectations of what they think is going to happen when they start lifting weights which is this so this is what a lot of women think will happen but there's a few points to take into consideration with this 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 isn't natural so in order for a woman to to get like this you know it look at the, the pec development shoulder development biceps even forearms well bigger forearms than me um it can't be done without steroids. It need, you need steroids to get to this level, as well as years, decades of, of hard, hard works, five, seven days a week, non-stop, never missing a meal. You know, it's crazy, crazy dedication, this. Obviously, you know, if, if, if the steroids, steroids increase your testosterone. You can see here that she's got a wider jawline. She's kind of got, like, sunken 
eyes, similar to similar, like quite masculine eyes, same with the nose. This is what happens when you take steroids. It increases your testosterone and it broadens your shoulders. Um, you know, it widens your jawline. It gives you masculine features. A lot of women who do take steroids end up with hair growth, like on the chest and and moustache. So, you know, this, <laughs> you, you'd never have to worry about getting to this level. If, if you asked me to get you to this level, I'd say, right, okay, train with me five, seven days a week. Um, let's uh, I, I do that for 10 years and let's spend a good few thousand pounds a month on steroids. <laughs> it is literally like that, that crazy. Not that like I would recommend that and I, obviously I never would, but that's kind of the level that you'd need to, you'd need to be at in order to get this, you know, this is years and years of heavy lifting and steroids. You know, what, what are we doing at the end of the day? We're in a calorie deficit, you know, you are completely 100% natural and you're training two, three times a week, 80% weights, 20% cardio. So this is completely unachievable. Never ever get worried that you're gonna end up looking like this because as I say, it, it will be impossible, trust me. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So you know, just just a quick run over of, of how to get toned and and um, you know what to expect, what not to expect. You know, you can I, I can post this slide below, and uh, you can you can see these level of leanness. As I say, you know, these girls, I'm not saying that these girls are the ideal. These girls often these do it for for a living. Um, but. You know, you know, so don't don't be comparing yourself to these. It's just to give you an idea of the body fat percentages and kind of the lower level uh, of of tones, especially on these pictures here as well. Um, and you don't have to worry about getting like this. Okay, girls. Hope this video has been great. If you have any questions, just post in the group. And uh, hope it's been helpful. Speak soon.